Hey everyone, it's Megan and today I'm going to give you guys some updates on products that I have talked about before or shown like once and never really talked about again. And then I'm also going to talk about a few things that I just picked up yesterday and do mini reviews on all of this stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this and I hope you like my hair. I realized that I hadn't been using my curling wand. This is the sea -Doo Revolution. Pro Clipless Curling Iron, and this is the smallest size, I think. Um, I don't remember. I bought this last um, spring, this past spring, and I used it a little bit when I first got it, but then I haven't used it since, and it was like a very expensive purchase for me to make, and I just thought that I was being ridiculous, like never using it. So I parted my hair down the middle and I just sort of curled it and I think it looks cute and different. And I didn't even use the glove today because my hair is getting longer so um, I was able to wrap it around without any problem. So I really do like this and I really need to use it more. I'm just so lazy with my hair. Um, but if you are someone that likes to fix your hair and do stuff to it, I would really recommend the sea -Doo clipless curling iron it's really really nice it heats up really fast it has three speed settings or not speed settings um, heat settings high medium low and I guess there's auto but I don't really know what that means um, I guess I actually have no idea so um, I'm not gonna say anything about that but I use it on medium and it works perfectly I just have to spray like a um, touchable finish hairspray and I like that it got my bangs out of the way so I enjoyed using that today and I have never really talked about it since showing you guys it like in a haul and a first impressions video but um, yeah that's a very good thing um, probably not <laughs> the smartest idea for me to invest in something like that that I don't really use that much but um, it is a really nice um, hot tool for your hair so if you've been interested in something like that I bought it off of Folica and I waited till they have or they had a like $25 off coupon and free shipping and like extra stuff so that made it a little bit cheaper and a little bit more worth it but I would never really buy something like that at full price just because it's not something that I use all the time so there's that. Also, I wanted to talk about the Shiseido Refreshing Sun Protection Spray Broadband Spectrum um, SPF 16 for body and hair. And this is something that I hauled for you guys a while ago, last spring as well. And it's just this really cool thing that I found at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, one of those places. And it's just a spray sunscreen that is, it's only SPF 16, but I thought that it was cool because it said for body and hair. And I've never really heard of a sunscreen that was marketed towards also using on your hair to protect your scalp because that's a place that you can really get burned because it's like the top of your head and that's really exposed. Um, so I used this when I went to Ocean City, Maryland this past weekend and I um, I used it myself and I also put it on my sister and my dad used it. None of us got burned. I put it on my hair. It didn't make my hair greasy. It was awesome and it really like blended in easily. It wasn't like that really like slippery, weird, gross sun sunscreen like spray, the normal spray ones. Um, it didn't feel like that at all. It really sunk into my skin. I felt like perfectly fine and it was great. So if you can find this at your TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I would say try it out. Um, I know the summer is almost ending, but I just thought this was a cool product and I hadn't really tried it out until last weekend. So I enjoyed it for sure. Um, I wanted to touch on a few makeup brushes and um, as you guys know I got two of the Real Technique brushes. I don't think I hauled this one for you guys, the Expert Face one, but I bought the blush brush which I have been using for bronzer and I absolutely love it. It's like the softest thing ever. Um, I don't really use it as blush because I like my blush like at a specific spot with a smaller brush, but for bronzer this is awesome and then after I put on my blush and highlight I blend everything out. I think it's amazing. I love this brush so much and I would really, really recommend it. So because I was so impressed with that, I bought the um, Expert Face Brush, which is talked about so much on YouTube. And I thought, well, I love that one. I might as well give this a try. And this is a brush that I really wouldn't have picked out for myself if everyone wouldn't have been recommending it so much and saying such great things about it because I'm a person that I like to apply my foundation with my hands and most recently with a beauty blender. I think those are the 
um, application methods for me that make my foundation or BB cream or whatever I'm using it makes it look very natural and I don't really like a heavy coverage so I bought this because everyone talked about it basically um, not because I thought that this would be perfect for my needs and that I think is why I'm not really that impressed with it I used it um, a few times and I think the problem with it isn't like the application it's really nice um, like soft bristles it's very very dense and I used it with um, I think my bourgeois healthy mix which I'm going to talk about the in a second um but it just sort of left it streaky like I don't know if it's I wasn't doing it right um but it left it streaky so I had to go over and like sort of smooth everything out with my hands and I didn't feel like I needed to do that with other brushes that I've used in the past so I don't love this but if you have any recommendations on how you use it to make it really work for you I would love to hear those um because this I don't know maybe it's just not for me it's not like perfect for the foundation and stuff like that that I want but I do want to get use out of it because I think it's really nice maybe it would be good for like a cream highlight if you want a really really strong highlighter because it is the synthetic um, bristles and they're really soft they are um, so I'm just sort of eh about that so far Another brush that I'm sort of disappointed with is this Polish Choice Soft Blending Brush and I bought this when it was on sale, it was like $6 and everyone in the comments, or, or the review I mean, were saying that it was really comparable to MAC brushes, blah blah blah. So I thought that it seemed like a good brush and you guys know I love blending brushes to apply. Um, all of my shadows I really like a effortless sort of application for the most part. Um, but this is just sort of like... They're, the bristles aren't soft and they were like splaying outside and then like they just like fall out a little bit I think so um, I'm not a hundred percent impressed with this and I wouldn't really recommend you guys picking this up even if it is only six dollars because I could have got a cheaper brush that I like better like my elf brushes and my um, this Target brush that I got for like two bucks. I like those better than I really like this one. So I'm going to continue to use it and everything, but I just don't really like it that much. Um, something that I bought yesterday was this set from Wet n Wild. It's in their new um, limited edition collection. I think it's like a army theme and this they came together and it was $2.99 and then I had a $1 off coupon so it was pretty awesome um so this um trio is called enlisting for beauty and then it came with this mega protein mascara and I guess it's just in the color black it doesn't really say it anywhere and um the thing that I really wanted to talk about is this mascara and I have never bought a wet n wild mascara because I've never really been like I don't know I just didn't think it was something that I really wanted to try this just has a standard like like swirly brush it really reminds me of the brush from the um, what is this Rimmel glam eyes day to night like that swirly sort of design and when I got the Rimmel one I didn't really think that that brush would be good but it ended up being really nice um so I was I didn't have too high expectations or too low expectations for this one but I used it today um, at first and it just didn't really do anything for my lashes besides separate them which is good um, and it made them black obviously but I had to go over it with my L'Oreal Voluminous because it just didn't give me the lashes that I personally really like so if you like more natural lashes if you like something that se separates your lashes I think this would be a like a nice one if you want a really inexpensive option for mascara. Um, I also use it on my bottom lashes, which I think these sort of um, light mascaras are good for. So um, I don't know, I just don't really love it, but it came basically free with the eyeshadow palette, which is what I wanted to buy. Um, so I can't complain. And these colors are really nice. It's, I think there's two mattes and the bottom one is shimmery. And I didn't really use these yet they're those colors but i just know that wet n wild limited edition 
things, especially neutral palettes. They are just so awesome and they sell out really quickly. So I picked that up. I found it at my local Wegmans. So if you guys have a Wegmans, I've noticed that they often have the limited edition collections before any other place. So um, I got that there and I like the pigmentation of the eyeshadows, just haven't really tried them out. Mascara, I could live without. Another thing that I got yesterday at Wegmans, me and my sister um, found some awesome things. I Instagrammed it and follow me on Instagram. I'll put my name down down here. It's Megfish8. So follow me there if you want to see like Insta hauls and just random stuff. Um, so we found this Revlon Nail Art Chalkboard um, Matte Nail Enamel and it's one of those duo things and um, the packaging is like frosted because I guess it's matte so they wanted that to be pretty obvious and we just thought these were so cool. At first we thought it was actually like you paint it on the black and you could write on it with chalk but then we realized well it would just like fall off anyway so the thing is that it's a matte um, black and all of them have the matte black as the base so you put two coats of the matte black and then the other side we just got the white and this is called straight A's but there was a bunch of different pastel colors but my sister Rachel said that getting the black and white would be the best which I agree it was definitely the best for us it's a much thinner um, brush on the white or the pastel side so we both used it yesterday. The matte black is so pretty. She just left it plain, but I um, added a few like lines for the design. And I'm not very good at <laughs> nail art, obviously, but um, I don't know, I think it's cute and it's sort of chipped a little, but I think that's just because of my nails. Um, but I think it's cool and I've never tried a matte nail polish. So I really, really like this. She likes it too and um, I just think it's a cool concept and it is limited edition so if you're interested in this I would say like scout out your drugstores, um, places like that. I found it again at Wegmans but this is just really cool and it's something my sister really likes nail polish and those like sort of different sort of things so she definitely wanted it and I'm glad we picked that up. And um, the last thing that we got there and what I'm wearing on my eyes is the limited edition Maybelline Eye Studio Quad in Desert Fantasy. And you guys know how much I love these quads. These quads are like my favorite thing ever. I adore them. And I go crazy over the limited edition ones. And there's two others that I really want to get, but I'm trying to be strong. Um, but this just had some really unique shades, especially that like mustardy color. I just thought this was gorgeous and I'm wearing them on my eyes today, all the colors, and I'm going to do a tutorial um, this weekend using this palette because um, you'll be able to find it and maybe you, like, these colors are kind of different, like, different for me too, so if you see a tutorial that you like, maybe it would inspire you to pick it up and try something a little different. So um, look out for that this weekend, I'll probably do it on Saturday. So I'm, of course, really impressed with that, and that's from their fall um, 2013 limited edition collection. And something that I'm wearing on my lips is the Revlon Peach um, Petal, is that what it's called? Yeah, Peach Petal um, Super Lustrous Gloss, and I had never really used this because I bought it when it was on 75% off at CVS, and so many people said how amazing this gloss is, and so I was like, for two bucks or whatever it is, I'm gonna try it out. And I I just never really liked how it looked. It's too milky on me. It's too like, I don't know. I never liked it. But with this look and maybe with my hair or something, I don't know what it is. It just looks really nice. And so it's very glossy as you can probably tell, but it's sort of, do I have it on my lips? Oh my God. Not my lips, on my teeth. I'm always afraid of having it on my teeth because I've done that so many times. Um, but it just sort of um, lightens my lips a little bit and gives it a little bit of milky glossiness and that was like I applied it and then really rubbed it in and everything so um, I do enjoy this it's definitely for a specific look for me I know for other people it would be like awesome for every day but for me it has to be a specific look that I'm going for but I really like it today Okay, and then the final things that I want to update you guys on are four different face foundation products. And the first one is the L'Oreal um, Magic Nude Liquid Powder, and I've been promising review on this forever, and I just like, never get around to it because I've been getting so many other foundations that 
I'm just like going crazy basically. So um, this says a bare skin perfecting makeup, broadband spectrum um, SPF 18, and it says um, transforms from liquid to powder for the perfect bare skin finish, and um, application shake well for best makeup result, pour just a few drops onto fingers and apply directly onto skin, not recommended for use with a sponge or brush. And I have a number 312 Classic Ivory. This is the second latest shade, and these don't come sealed, so that is is like a concern for a lot of people I know and that's just like plain gross um, so that's one thing I love how the packaging looks but I don't think it's very good for the product the um, like hole is so small that um, and the product is so liquidy you can't really pour it out on the back of your hand because it would just be a disaster at least with me it would be a total disaster because I'm such a clumsy mess um, so what I have to do is I have to like turn it over and get a little bit and see that's like nothing on my finger and then put it on like my cheeks and it just takes a really long time to apply it so that's a annoying factor about this but if you're someone like me that likes a really really natural um, coverage natural finish something that doesn't really look like makeup this is going to be something you'll really enjoy and so like it says don't use with a sponge or brush and I've never used it with a sponge or brush because I don't know them saying that really freaks me out I don't know why they would say that so I don't really want to try um, so I've always used my hands and I just really like how it looks it's not the most long-lasting by any means it doesn't control oil but it looks so natural and like they say liquid powder it does go from a liquid to a really dry consistency on your face and um, the Giorgio Armani um, the liquid makeup I can't remember what exactly it was called the maestro foundation I think um, that has a similar concept I've never tried that but um, I think that they would be pretty similar if you have that one and you like it maybe you would want a cheaper alternative or something I don't know um, but this is just nice it's not like my favorite foundation that I've ever tried but it is nice for someone that likes a really natural finish on their skin and I don't know I like it but I don't love it so there's that something that my friend Natasha sent to me is the Dr. Jar Water Fuse B um, BB Cream and it has SPF 25 and there's only one color so this has oh yeah SPF 25 I said that already um, so this is just I think like a deluxe sample and I had a sample of this a while ago in a birch box like this was like a year ago or something and there's a swatch so as you can see it matches me really well um, but it wouldn't match a lot of people very well because I'm very fair and I know like 80% of people are much darker than this um, so that's the one thing that is a positive for me because it matches me but I think it would be a negative for a lot of other people um, but I had this as a sample in a birch box and I loved it I like scraped out every last bit I was totally totally in love with it but it is a more expensive product and I had other um, like foundation products that I wanted to use up first um, so I just never got around to buying it so I was so excited when Natasha sent this to me in a little present and um, I just absolutely love it it gives a really like natural um, um, coverage to my face it evens out like my redness and stuff pretty well it's not like full coverage by any means but it just leaves my skin really glowy and really nice and I just love it there's something about it that I just love and um, I think this will be even better in the fall and winter when my skin is a little bit drier and when it's not so hot outside because this doesn't control oils or anything so I think it would be better if you had like normal to dry skin or just to use in the drier months um, or the cooler months um, so I really love this I absolutely recommend it uh, especially to just get a sample of it to see how you like it but thank you again Natasha for sending this to me you had no idea how much I love it but I really really do and then the final two products that I wanted to sort of update you guys on are the Bourjois Healthy Mix. I have the Healthy Mix and the Healthy Mix Serum. They're both in number um, 51, which is, it had a name, um, Light Vanilla. And my really nice friend, Jen, who has a blog, I'll link her blog down below, um, she sent me these in our swap. And I think today or tomorrow she's going to be uploading her blog post about what I sent her. So you guys have to check that out. I've been really, really antsy for her to... <laughs> 
um, write a blog post and she is finally getting around to it. Um, but anyway, she sent these to me and I was just expecting the serum, but she sent me both, which is so nice of her. Um, and I really love both of them. I'm wearing the serum today and it just is really nice. I think both of these are really nice. The serum is a little bit lighter. It's a little um, thinner of a consistency and the healthy mix, the original healthy mix is a little bit of a um, heavier, like not heavier um, feeling on the skin. They both feel extremely light and like you basically have nothing on your skin, but um, the healthy mix has a little bit more coverage and seems a little bit thicker in consistency. They're both amazing. I really love both of them and I wouldn't really be able to choose which one I like more. Probably the serum because I just really like that light feeling and just the thin um, quality of it going on my skin I really like. But both are really nice. The color match is great for me and I just really would recommend trying these out especially if you live somewhere where you can buy bourgeois products because I think they're some of the most amazing foundations I've tried and they're drugstore price at um, drugstores in the UK. So unfortunately I don't have access to them here in the United States but you guys that live other places you're lucky enough to have them and if you haven't tried them out I would really really recommend it. So those are all the things that I wanted to update you guys on. I didn't want to talk about anything that I've really been loving because I want to do a current favorites in the next week. Um, and it's really weird because I'm going back to school in almost a week. Oh my gosh, I'm like not even ready to admit that. And most of my friends are going, they're starting school next Monday on the 26th. So thankfully I have another week until I have to start school my senior year. Oh my God. And I feel like I should do another like life chat with you guys before I go because I'm sort of like freaking out and like, I don't know. I'm just like really nervous, really excited. I had like a, a really, really long talk with my sister last night about just like everything and how I'm pretty like anxious and nervous and really unsure about what um, this next year and beyond will hold for me. So it's just something that I don't know, it's just so different than anything I've had to go through before. So um, that will probably be up as well, but look out definitely for the tutorial and then a current favorites video um, and probably a video about me freaking out about my future. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and that um, you got some helpful reviews or information from this and I hope that if you liked my hair, leave me a comment below because it's just something I've never really done before. I don't really part my hair in the middle. Um, so anyways, I hope you all are having a great week and I'll talk to you really soon. Bye!